Hi darlings, thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. And today I have the unboxing of the November kit for Buy the Well for God. And you guys, tons of goodies this month. So let's go ahead and dig in. As you know, it's always like Christmas morning when we get a package from Buy the Well for God. Those of you that have purchased with Lori and Tom already know. And so let me get this package open. I know we have tons of goodies and I have another package coming in because I had to uh, place an order for some more goodies. So that'll be coming in soon and I'll show you that when it gets here. But I'm gonna be showing you the freebie package and explaining all of that goodness. The add-on stamp sets, all of the um, add-on things. There's also a gratitude project and I'm gonna show you the gratitude prompts guide that's free on their site. But let's start off with the heart of everything every month, which is the actual main kit. And I always tell everyone, if you grab anything, if you're on a budget, if you want to start off somewhere, or if you just need something to show off, I'm sorry, to start off, then the main kit is where you do it. This month it's called Pure in Heart. And so if you, um, anytime that you purchase or yeah, purchase through uh, By the Well for God, you always get um, a goodie bag. And then you get extra goodies any time of the month or throughout the month. Uh, it just depends on your pricing. So always get a goodie anytime you purchase, no matter what, every order gets a goodie. But um, if you purchase $50 or more, you get like a two by three stamp, which this month is so cute. And then um, if you do $50 or more, or maybe a magnet or a vinyl sticker, sometimes they have um, different things. And then during the release, if you get $50 or up, you receive the two by three goodie um, from that coordinates with the actual kit. And then if you do $75 and up, then you get the early bird goodie, okay? And that, um, it depends on what the actual goodie is for that month, okay? So I'm going to show you this fun magnet. I love these magnets. I keep these on my craft cart. Um, and some of them I actually put on my refrigerator because uh, these are great to have in a place where you can uh, kind of go through that verse each day, especially if you're trying to memorize scripture. It's a scripture you want to memorize. This is a good one. And I love this little vellum pocket. It comes in definitely using that in my project this month. Okay, other goodies. We have paint cards. You know, they usually or sometimes they'll have paint cards, but this time they're mini. And look at all these fun colors and all the verses that would coordinate with the devotional and these are just blank in the back which is perfect for some journaling we also have a set of clear stickers and these are little um postal stamps with some uh, autumn scenes love that love that they have verses on them we also have our little fabric on a clip i love that she's been doing this because i've actually been using these fabrics to create ruffles and it goes a long way when i use it that way so we have a beautiful scene here on the back and then matthew 5 5 love that and then we also have a tile alpha and in the back there we have a waffle print it's like a waffle weave knit print in the background there and this is a steel blue gray color beautiful so that is the goodie bag of course it's always addressed to the person that purchased we have how you can follow us with the tag by the well for god underscore pure in heart and then we also have have how you can sign up for the email and a sneak peek you guys at the christmas advent season oh my god i'm gonna love going there but Let's stick to November 1st. Okay, so main kit. Of course, um, you get tons of goodies. We're gonna get two clippies. We have this beautiful mustard color and this brown color. These are perfect for fall, the pure in heart card. And on the back, we have the verse, Matthew 5, 8. Then we have a set of die cuts. And you know that Lori always sends a texture. So we have 27 ephemera pieces. And the texture this month is a piece of burlap. Love that. Love, love, love that. So we have some beautiful scenes. Love. And then we have some things to build scenes as well. Like we have a couple of chairs. 
we have some florals and then um let me just show you these beautiful fireplaces as well let me show you some of these fireplaces beautiful beautiful so pretty and i love the farmhouse vibes that we have going on here i just think they're lovely we also have a bunch of beautiful floral bouquets beautiful centerpieces some mason jars turned into lanterns or lantern mason jars however you want to call them super super cute tons of little pieces again 27 pieces and then the texture this month is the burlap you can pick up these um beautiful die cuts like an extra pack if you want an extra pack it just won't come with the um texture piece but you can pick up an extra pack as well okay then we have the stamp set and the stamp set for the kit is so cute you guys we have a row of these beautiful ball mason jars and we have some paint brushes and things we have this beautiful little table piece i love that of course many of us ha have that in our house we have this place setting like the tray and i love it because they show you how you can use the tile alphas when you stamp these out isn't that cute it gives you like a little idea that you can use these in conjunction with that love that okay and of course we get this that comes with tons of other goodies as well again all of this is still things that comes with the kit you can use both sides of this look we have this beautiful fall scene that you can cut out and use in your journaling and then we have like a um a tile there i love that this i believe they're calling farmhouse roof i'll double check for you okay so we have daniel smith watercolors we have six different beautiful fall colors a little goes a long way on the back it shows you how to use them we have the kit sticker on white sticker paper pure and heart i love using these in the front of my bible so i know what bible i worked that through and then we have some clear stickers we have a bunch of clear stickers over here some just some beautiful scenes i love this bike with the basket full of some fall florals so cute then we have um some washi here some faux washi strips i love that we get like a variety of there tons of blooms and don't forget that these three stickers at the top here are also stickers you can take those right off and use those super cute then we get some journaling cards these are in a vertical position this month and on the back we just have some faint lines and on top of those scenes so you can do some journaling we have matthew 5 9 matthew 5 10 and matthew 5 11 and 12. okay some more of those postal stickers these are on white sticker paper we get six different ones of those and these are different than the ones that you are going to see on here so you're not getting um, these are on clear sticker paper these are on white sticker paper and these are not duplicates just Pointing that out in case you're thinking, love, love the floral fall pattern on the back of these. These are both on white sticker paper. We have a set of numbers. These will take you through all 14 days if need be. And then we also have a set of alphas. And don't forget the hearts and the punctuations that are included here as well. Okay, all of that, but the beautiful or the most beautiful part of the devotional kit, of course, is the heart of the devotional the actual devotional content this is pure in heart i love this this is written by tom we have the tag hashtag here as well so just in case you don't know or you forget you can just go back and check there this is a 14 day devotional and you can journal this however you want the way i like to do it is i go through a couple of days at a time and then i do most of my journaling on the weekends or when i have that extra time in the evenings um and they do it in a way that you can study one day and journal the next but of course you can do it at your leisure okay so that is the main kit let's look at some of the add-ons let's start off with the stamps shall we um the stamps this month are so so good i'm gonna go through these of course when you buy during the uh, first release you can get these at a special price so you can get these at a special price of 15 dollars, and if you buy more than two then you can get them for 10 bucks so you're saving tons we have harvest barns a couple of barns there with some fun other pieces to create a scene this one's my favorite for this month finding rest and i love this fireplace because they have both a fall 
um, like fall decor that you can put on top of your fireplace or also a Christmas set. So you can use them for both uh, seasons and then they have stockings that you can hang up here on the fireplace or a basket with pumpkins and leaves that you can put next to your fireplace. And here on the back, it shows you like a little bit of that. So you have like the chair, you can put your little cat in the chair if you have one. We have this Christmas side and this fall size. I love how versatile this is, super, super cute. Healing leaves, beautiful fall leaves that are perfect for any fall project. Autumn doors, this is so cute. And I just wanna say you can also use these doors for Christmas. All you have to do is mask off the little pumpkins and you can replace it with something else. That would be super cute to see. And then the texture stamp for this month is a waffle knit. And I know this looks intimidating because it's really dark, but when you stamp it in color, look how beautiful that is going to look on the background of your Bible pages. Love. So these are the five coordinating stamps for this month. Set that aside. You could have also picked up a journal set. There are two different journal sets this month. I picked up journal set one. It has this beautiful barn door that I think I'm gonna be using for my art this month. And then also we have this beautiful mustard plaid. We have another set of coordinating uh, alphas, uh, sorry, not alphas, die cuts for Pure in Heart. These are not the same as the one that comes with the kit. You get 25 pieces. And I'm just gonna roughly show you how cute these are because I really love, let me show you. I really love the little journaling spots for this month. Oh, I think it's this way. That's super cute. And you can use your alphas on those as well, your out tile alphas. Look at that beautiful china cabinet. <gasps> The scenes here are absolutely beautiful. You can pair these. I mean, these will make some quick, beautiful, easy pages. The Buy the Well for God truck. Some beautiful farmhouse pieces. You can create a scene in your Bible of your little home there. We have some beautiful florals, fall florals that I know many of you are gonna love. Some more furniture for your scenes couple more scenes there, a couple more florals, a little lantern from a mason jar. And again, these journaling spots are my fave from this set because that is just super cute. You also have a couple of those autumn leaves. So this one comes with 25 pieces and they are different than the ones that come in the main kit. Okay, setting this aside. We also have slides. These have been so popular, you guys, and I have been loving them as well. You guys have seen me use these. You have just a plethora of colors here and scenes. I love that they include scenes and colors and um, patterns. That is so cute. And of course, you are just going to fold this over like this and then put your little scene in there. I have been loving using these. And then um, I believe you get eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12 of these. Sorry, I thought it was eight, but it's actually 12 of these. Wow, that's a, that's a good bunch. Okay, journaling cards. So these journaling cards, you usually get like three of each in four different colors, but this month they're all different. So we're getting 12 different beautiful scenes and a dot grid on the back to do our journaling. Look at these, you guys. Love it, love it, love it. And you can even cut these out if you want like some extra die cuts. You can cut these out too, create tippins in your Bible, um, create little notes to leave for your kids, maybe write a Bible verse for a sister. So cute. Love those journaling cards. We have the tile alphas and the labels that are always super popular. Let me show you these colors. You're getting five of these. We have that gray, yellow, red, orange, and blue. And then we have the um, labels in the same colors, that orange, yellow, red, and green and blue. Instead of gray and blue, you got green and blue there. Beautiful. And then mini stickers. These are super fun to use in your notebook if you're doing um, scripture journaling like I do. These are also great for two inch margin Bibles or maybe study Bibles that have a smaller margin for you to decorate. I love these. They're meant for pocket Bibles, but man, I use these in all sorts of things. Love those. 
we have two sets of the flashcards again. Now you have the wood, gain, wood grain here. Now you got two sets of flashcards. Each of them will take you through all 14 days, but they don't repeat. And look at the beautiful wood grain, wood grain colors that we get. I keep wanting to say wood gain, but it's wood grain. <laughs> beautiful neutral wood grain. And then also this one has a floral background, kind of a tone on tone, beautiful fall colors. Again, they don't repeat um, from one set to another and they take you through all 14 days, whether you buy one or both. Okay, mini note folders or file folders. You get eight of these, these you do get eight of. Let me show you these colors and they did something different this month so that the colors on the other side are actually different. So let me show you. You can pick your side. And I like this because when you're going to fold them over, you're going to have a different color on the inside. So that is cute. Love that. Love that they made that little change. It's the little things, you guys, that they think about. I love, love Lori and Tom. Okay, the pattern paper, one of my favorite pieces of the kit every month. I get the six by eight, but of course you can get six by six. You get 24 double-sided papers and three of each design. We have the cabinet with the beautiful gingham in the back or buffalo plaid, I mean. And then we have this beautiful, um, they're calling it farmhouse roof with the waffle knit in the back, that fall floral, waffle knit in green on a smaller scale. Actually, this is the burlap on the green, sorry and the mason jar lanterns, oh, those are so cute. Beautiful wood grain. And then we have all the scenes of those beautiful farmhouse barns, a beautiful burlap in a darker color, love that. Oh, this is like ready to go and to be glued right or tipped in right into your Bible, love that. You can build a beautiful page on that with a beautiful, this is actually words, this is actually scripture, sorry, on the back of here on a tone on tone. I love that. That's pretty. They add scripture to everything. Pumpkins and gourds. Love that with a wood grain on the back. And then a beautiful scene, of course, with um, a tone on tone on the background here. That is scripture. And then we have that mustard plaid. Love. Okay. We also could pick up some of the clear alphas. These are on clear sticker paper. The ones that you get in your kit are on white sticker paper. So these, the lighter colors, you can actually see through. You get seven different colors of these. Let me go through these. You have that beautiful floral, red, orange, the gray steel blue, the darker green, a lighter green, and then a brown. So all beautiful coordinating colors that coordinate with the kit. Love that. Also, if you're looking for more clear stickers, you can pick up this coordinating sticker pack. I love this each month because it comes with the, these are the title starters. So this is the title of every single day, one through 14. And I love these because it makes it easy for me to add the names of each day in my journal, my blank journal that I do my scripture writing in. We also get some faux washi strips. These are some long strips. I love that coffee cappuccino latte one, so cute. Some more farmhouse scenes. Then we have some of those by the well for God trucks with some coffee and pumpkins. And then some beautiful, bountiful fall florals there. Okay, let's take a look at the stencils. You guys, one of them is upside down. We have scattered leaves, so, so good and versatile. These big, beautiful dahlias. And then that's the name, farmhouse ceiling is what they're calling it. That beautiful. And these are all um, continued stamps. So you can stamp, uh, lay this down and then uh, fill this in and then keep it going. Just move it over. And I, um, I forget the name exactly for that, but I think they're continued from corner to corner. Love that. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is this. This is the reverence in awe. Um, and this is the card set that they usually do, but they did it with a gratitude twist to be the gratitude project 
for the month of November if you would like. So we have this beautiful set um, of rings here. And then we have reverence and awe. And then on the back here, we have a set of names. Now this works together with this reverence and awe. And these are the gratitude prompts that is gonna go take you through all the days. So we have all the scripture in here that you're gonna find um, in here. And then we have the big themes. Praise for God's character and creation. Gratitude for God's blessing. Thanks for God's provision and sacrifice. Gratitude in worship and service. Praise in prayer and thanksgiving. And thanksgiving in victory and triumph. And then we have all these uh, pretty squares with the numbers that match this the kit. And these are to use with along with your prompts throughout the 30 days. Okay, so these are the beautiful cards. And of course, you can see the theme down here and the actual verse of the day. And I love that they did this in conjunction. Now you can pick this up. So let's say you just have money to get the main kit. You can pick up the prompt list for free and it comes with these fun numbers and all of the verses. But if you have a little bit extra money in your... Uh, in your wallet or pocket this month you can pick up the card set as well and look how beautiful these are and then we have a couple blank ones in the back that you can do some journaling on i love these you guys they're so so pretty okay so that is that i also want to just give a shout out and i usually don't do this but i want to give a shout out to the digitals Every month there is digitals you can pick up and I loved both of these. I had to print them right away. I'm thinking of using these numbers in my 14 days. These are also the title starters for the uh, for this month as well. So um, you have them in that digital as well if you don't have them in the, uh, if you didn't get the coordinating stickers. But then look at this. These are the little journaling cards or journaling spots that they did. And this is the digital that you purchased that um, comes with all the digital papers but I printed these specifically but you guys that is it so much to show you this month but definitely if you are going to pick anything up run because there are less than 50 kits now right now in the shop as of this video and if you are watching this on Saturday October the 21st then you have less than 50 kits left Go grab your kit because once it's gone, it's gone. It's going to be a good one, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me each and every video, darlings. All of my affiliate links are below. Thank you so much for your support. God bless. Bye.